So in last video, I, I show you how to handle data, external data, uh, in order to filter the, the information that you don't need and just have to deal with information that you actually need to continue to build your AI agent, okay? So that was in the last video. In this video, I'm going to show you um, another, uh, uh, another functionality uh, uh, that NAAN provide you to handle the data, but in a sense like to filter completely uh, in case you don't need to handle that. It just it just is a good way for you to deal with the duplicate the duplicate data. Okay, and I'm gonna explain you in this context of the Instagram automation when it's happening, why it's happening. Okay, but before before I went to detail, let me just give you what's going to happen in this video what are we going to be discussing in this video make it just by the way a full screen here so basically what you see here in this video in this diagram so the last video i show you how to handle comment data so now i put the filter and then i then i have this this node here which is basically it's going to reply the ai comment uh, uh, to, to reply the comment okay so the filter basically this is the ha this is the problem when you when, when someone comment on your instagram you receive that event you handle that comment and then you respond come back comment back to them what's going to happen your respond comment to the instagram it kind of trigger another event that a new comment happen which is the reply comment so now that event, since you are since you have a webhook to to listen for all comment, is gonna come back to your agent to handle that. In this case, you want to say, if who made a comment, it was me. So filter it out. Do not do anything. That's what this filter does. Otherwise, it's gonna be in this infinite cycle. Respond, respond, to comment back and if, and until Facebook block you completely okay so you want to avoid that to happen that's what the filter does the filter is just a filter like what you're gonna what's gonna pass from this point forward in your ai agent okay and then the next thing for the ai agent you have this node which it's called http request okay so anytime you want to send the data from your AI agent to the external source, you're gonna use HTTP request. That's the unique protocol that you can communicate over the internet to the external um, server, service application, whatever it is, okay? But how that I build, configure this? For this one, you have to read the Instagram uh, documentation API. So in our case, we want to uh, handle comment replies, okay? So now this is what you're gonna do. You have a, you have a, this comment reply here, reply comment. What it says is this: send request to this address. The request has to be the type post, which is data. Okay, that's all I did here. And then another thing that I want to show you before I went to the NAA, I have this tool that it's uh, it's a really helpful. It's called Hopscotch. Basically, you can test all your API without without start to build itself. It's very easy, very fast to test API on this tool. And that's what I did with the Instagram API. Okay, just put the also here a, a post call that I'm gonna make, and this is the data. I test it just to see if it's work, and then it gives me the response that I need back. As you see here, this is what you gonna get in the success and then I say okay the api is nice so now i'm just gonna put this put the api in this model so basically what i did method it has to be post this link i build that with the with the the comment id that i gave from the post before and then i can show you later and then i build this this uh, hgp URL, you can say address. In authorization, it's very important also you understand how authorization works. So I, here I test the authorization, it has to be the type bearer, and then I paste the token in. This access token, you can get this access token, you can create one from the app that you, that you create, because it's very important. Otherwise, er, anyone can reply, can build something to reply comment on your Instagram, and you don't want that to happen. That's why only those are authorized with the correct token will be able to 
communicate with your AP, with your Instagram on through the API on your behalf. Of. That's what I did uh, in this. You see, generate token. I just come in here for this account. I click generate token. It will take you to to log into the Instagram. And then after you log into the Instagram, it will generate a token for you. It's very important also for this app, for this app, before you generate a token, you give the app certain permission. Let me show you. If you go to the tools, you have a this Graph API Explorer. If you see here, I come in here, I choose the app. And for this app, I give him all this permission. Just basically click here, generate a token. And then you're going to see... If I click here, you see I choose the, the the Facebook page, the Instagram account, and this is all the permission that I gave it. Okay, good. So the app has permission, and then you generate a token. You generate a token from where I was before. To show you, and after you generate a token, I came to 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 N8, and in a credential, I create this credential. And then is the top authentication header. I put authorization and here I put it the bureau and then space, I put it the token. So now when you come to the workflow, okay, when you come to the workflow, that's why here I select uh, this authorization header. Okay, it's very important. Like I say, based on the API documentation, we have to send the body and the body has to be type JSON and the field has to be the message. That's, that's, that's all I can show you again. Uh, that's a uh, that's what API tell us to do. There's 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 not much to talk about that. If API give instruction, you just need to follow the API instruction. Okay, I think. Oh no, I think I want to go to the moderate comments. So this is the instruction. Uh, is be the JSON, and then this is the messages. Okay, and then what are gonna do? This is the message that we have here. Okay. Uh, I very much appreciate your comments. Keep keep connect something like this, <laughs> okay? And then you click save, okay? So basically, right now, uh, um, one thing also that I did, I come here, I got uh, the production URL, and after got the production URL, I went to to the my app and I connect my app with the production version. And after connect to the production version, what I did, I activate my workflow. So now it's live. The reason that you see it's live, you come to the workflow, you see that it's active and then it's live. So now anyone can go and comment on my Instagram. It's going to replay automatically. Okay. So if you want to put your workflow live, all you have to do, you come to this NNN endpoint. I'm going to double check again. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to have Instagram red so I can test it. Okay. So you come here and then on the configuration webhook, you have to make sure you have the live one. This is the live one. Okay. So now if I came to the Instagram, I have to switch to the different account. Log into the, let's go to this account. This is my account. I want to use, yes. Log into this account. Okay, just bear with me a second. It's going to send me maybe a two factor authentication code because everything is secure here. So now I just got it. 7805452. Okay, two factor authentication to make sure your account is protect or hacker. Okay. Okay, so now basically, yeah, you click save. Okay, so basically, what are you gonna happen? This uh, this small workflow is gonna always reply comment to your Instagram. Okay, when the user when the user made a comment. Okay, so now you're gonna be uh, very active on the social media to 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 to, to appreciate and thank it to the people who made a comment. Okay, so now. I can just say, come here and say, uh, my AI agent is up and running. Just say something like that. And then what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You have to come in here on the execution. You're going to see if it's going to respond back. Okay. So what time is that? So it just come in here. 9.48. Okay. Yeah, the same thing. So it come twice, but you're going to see the difference. The first one. Look, this is the first one. The first one go into the end. But the second one, like I told you, is the echo. 
the echo basically go until the filter. I don't let pass because it's going to keep, you know what I mean, uh, in the signal infinite. Now, if I come here, this is my agent is running. I don't see the reply yet. So let's refresh it. Okay, but you can see here that it's already replied. Uh, why why is it doing that? It does not, does, doesn't show me. Uh, activity on your post. When someone like comment on your post, it will see here. I don't know why I didn't see it, but I can come in here. You should, okay. You see the reply here? I very much appreciate your comment. Keep connect. Okay, that's all. So now this is how you build uh, your automation workflow to always reply comment to your Instagram for free. One thing that I want to say, this is not an AI automation workflow. This is just automation workflow task. It, it has nothing of AI on it, okay? But you can inject AI on it, and then when you put AI on it, it's going to respond comment to the user in a more fashion manner, very smart way. Right now, it's going to always respond to the same messenger, but if you want to invest on this, you just have to add AI agent to your workflow, okay? And then I'm going to be create a video to show you how you can add AI agent to your workflow. Stay tuned. I might not do that for, for, uh, for comment because a lot of people comment. You don't want your AI agent to be used to reply comment because it costs. But at least for Messenger, where if someone spent time to text you, at least you should invest on time to respond back to them. Okay? Stay tuned. And there's a lot to learn about the AI workflow, uh, AI automation workflow, and that's I'm here for. And that's, uh, that's when I'm going to be learning this channel. See you in the next video.